message to Casanova himself. I can make a message to the Gorilla family, educational purpose, meaning his groups, the uh, Bloodstones or whatever. I'm not going to do that. Now, if you find yourself telling other people you casting over friends and X, Y, and Z, then obviously you probably the person that I'm talking about. Now, Casanova been locked up for a good minute now, almost a year, if not already a year. Y'all let me know. Is it almost a year or over a year now? He's currently waiting to address the magistrates in the courtroom for the charges he's being given. Some of the charges, allegedly, he's in a RICO charge. They said they killed a 15-year-old, educational purpose. They've done a whole lot of financial gains and frauds, whole lot of stuff's going on, right? We know the typical norm of what happened in our neighborhoods. Now, with Casanova, he's locked up. Now, Bosco 100 and a lot of people, and I forgot who else it was, they said, I think he's going to snitch. I've never uttered those words. I don't put that jacket on people for no reasons. This is why they say he's going to snitch. They're saying that he ain't been locked up long enough. He's already spazzing on friends. He's getting argue and all that. Let me tell you what's hitting Casanova right now. Casanova is in that cell. And when you got way too much time to think and you're isolated away from people that supposedly love you, like you, or whatever, the thoughts that come in your head, it get emphasized way more than it actually should while you're away from a group of people not giving you the same love, the same attention, the same time frame or whatever. You're going to sit back like Casanova and, and just think about everybody, every little thing they ever did wrong to you. Remember like in Paid in Full, um, when what you call it, um, Mitch's brother was missing. He was like, man... If anybody ever looked at me wrong, ever, that, bro, that's what you manifest in your vibes right now. And that's what Casanova's going through. Having different conversations with lawyer visits, and that's like your main only visits. And when you have these conversations with that paid attorney, he ain't giving you the news that you want to hear. Not only that, you seen how everything takes long and long and long, but you already knew that because you're used to the system. But because you've been out enjoying that celebrity lifestyle, even two days waiting feels like an eternity. You missing like, I don't know if Casanova is you know, making a hundred thousand a show or anything like that. But we can look at his name and see what he bringing. I say, let's pretend minimum $20,000 a show. He probably gets more than that. But let's pretend minimum, I'm saying minimum 20000 as if that ain't a good call to change. That's a lot of money. So let's pretend he missing 20000 a show. You put two and two together. A week's worth. Two weeks. A month worth. You calculate how much money this nigga is. This is a street dude. Street mentality. He losing all his dividends and ends. And he got to sit there and take that. Take that. P. Diddy style. Then you watching everybody say they holding you down. Oh, we ride with Casanova. I had a dude hit me up talking about he was locked up with Casanova. Casanova is his man. This dude violated my name and I never said nothing to the dude. Almost like this dude waited for an opportunity to clout chase. Oh, we going to do this to you? Gonna... Nigga, shut up, bro. It sounds good. But why don't you go use that time and energy and write Casanova a letter? Because you clout chasing. Casanova himself said most of you dudes he ain't cool with, he don't rock with. So why are you clout chasing the wave and you going hard on a nigga like me you don't know? I didn't lock the man up. I didn't speak ill of the man. You don't like what I'm saying when it's the truth. But if Casanova heard the words I'm saying, he would dap it up with me and say you a real one. Big facts. And niggas like y'all don't like that. Now all you niggas come out the woodwork and say you that man's homie and friends. We're going to get that to that later. We're going to get to the clout chasers and the fake friends of Casanova's. Niggas pretending they know Casanova so they can get views off him. Even if you've seen Casanova in prison before, that don't make him your mans or your friends. If you're part of the same set but never seen each other, never kicked it with each other, that's not your mans and friends. Quit clout chasing the wave. Now let me get back to Casanova. Casanova, this is a normal situation you about to go through. And the thoughts is going to go closer and closer to more people that know you more than the so-called fake friends. Now it's going to go to your girl. 
that beautiful angel you got. I ain't saying nothing disrespectful, but you're going to see the time that they keep throwing at you. Every, every attorney visit, he gives you bad news. They want this. They want that. Look, they're, they're willing to work on you, but you got to give the guys up. You know, the same guys you say who ain't rocking with you, the same guys who ain't here ain't giving this bread or that. They're going to do that for sure, bro. That's definitely. So now your mind is going to be thinking, is baby girl still going to rock with you? Maybe the first year or two years, but let's just be real. Them pretty things like that, bro. I'm not, I'm not trying to. I don't know her from a can of paint. She seem loyal as fuck right now. If you tell me to tell my personal opinion. She look and seem loyal, but we seen the story already. She might fall through the cracks of the hardship of seeing her dude getting a couple of years or more. And I hope he gets none, but I don't want th these fake dudes who are hitting me up. I'm casting over homie. Nigga, I'm not about to be on my knees, pause, begging for that man to be free. Casanova is a grown-ass man. He put himself in that position. Y'all always want regular dudes like me to be worshiping niggas that y'all worship. I don't worship these dudes. I look at niggas like Casanova, like many other dudes. A lot of us dream to get in these positions. Now, me, I don't just dream. I actually go out the way and do what I got to do to get myself even in this position I'm in now. And it's, it's, it's not equated to them. But for me, I feel like I'm, I got that God-given energy that I've already feel I made it. Not in Hollywood or anything. I've made it where I've reached a place. I'm secure with myself. So everything else I get... It just feels like a blessing, even if it's a dollar, 10 cents, even if it's somebody say, how you doing today? Even if a female op opens the door to me, even if it's a good brother that opened the door, somebody that just says some good, positive words to you, that's my blessings. These Casanovas of the world get this type of blessing where you get, I'm not going to say millions and exaggerate. We know a lot of these rappers are broke in real life, but I will say financial gains that none of us ever thought we'll get. And y'all get that. And then y'all blow y'all blessings away and I'm supposed to fall back. And sit down and get on videos like this talking about free that man. I will say free Casanova. But just because I don't say free Casanova on every video, it doesn't mean I wish prison for that man. In fact, no disrespect to Casanova. I'm not thinking of that man like that. No, I'm not. I'm not going to be fake like these fake friends of his, everybody else. I got a family to take care of. Tay Rock once said, if I take my money and I give it to everybody, you know, I, something about, you know, he ain't going to have enough to take care of his own family. He said this, bro. At the end of the day, you niggas dance around the clock like clockwork. You dance around that clock. What clock I'm talking about? The clock that changes your life, whether it goes fluctuates up or down. When you start going down through that clockwork, it's easy to get mad at everybody else, but you need to sit down, finesse your skills up here, mentally intertwine your thoughts with your bad experience. Then you can make a rational decision that it's my fucking fault I'm in this box. It's my fault I got tricked out the position. You made it out to your, your nightmares, but you we suffer from a problem in this community. Every motherfucker is way too cool for anything. You ever talk to a black person? You know what I mean? I, I, I'm just being honest. You ever talk to a black person, bro? And it's like, he's a regular person like you and me, but you talk to this nigga, you would think this nigga got 80 million followers, $200 billion in the bank. It's just the arrogance of some of these folks, bro. The arrogance when you talk to them. Even when even when you're in a bigger position and, and situation in them, and you're, you're, you're being a gentleman about things to help somebody out, and they're not even humble to get that, uh, that or, or receive that blessing. And you just saying back, like, why should I help this individual? Motherfucker act like you owe them something. So when they get them in a position in a situation, it's like, look at everybody who owe me and not looking out. But sometimes, bro, you got knock on that wood and keep it trucking, my nigga. Casanova, what did you do when you get out? You still try to hang and surround around people who don't have the same goals in mind. How the fuck I have a corporate entity business such as rap? Your Casanova, your real name ain't that. I mean, it probably is, but you get what I'm saying? Your, your brand is Casanova the rapper. Even if your name is Casanova in real life, you got to separate it from who the rapper is. Why would you go around other people who are possibly doing things out there and like, y'all going to tell me maybe Casanova didn't know about it, but that's the fucking point. 
Why would you go around the source that can potentially trick you out your position and you don't even know what they got going on? In fact, I can't hang around nobody if I don't know what you're doing in the in the business, in the back or whatever, this and that. That's why I don't associate with a lot of people. So your excuse for Casanova is invalid. It's, it's so Any bullshit excuse you give me, there's so many counters to that bullshit. That's the beautiful thing called life. You live and learn. And because I lived and learned, I know way too many excuse making is what get us trapped in a position Casanova found himself in. Just like that. Niggas don't like hearing the truth, bro. Look, ain't no rage in my voice. and I have to talk this way because apparently there's fake casting over friends out here. Not the ones he's talking about, but these other weird ones who've never been cool with this man. They probably got in a conversation here and there because you've been locked up. But let, let's quit the cab. Cavs probably won't remember some of you dudes. But you'll worry about attacking a dude like me who's done nothing to casting over. The police department is over there, my guy. Since you so thug and brazy and you pull up on everybody, go to the police department and say, free your mans right now. Because if you don't do that, then you are a clout chaser. To attack people who's done nothing to your so-called bro. He, since he's your so-called bro, quit worrying about the guy on YouTube who's done nothing to your so-called bro. Go take some money and go send it to that man. Go to his families and go tell them you got them. You'll take care of them, fake dude. Go, go, go take that chain you studying with and go give it to his seeds. You know, they can use that potentially, right? I mean, but, but you his man's man. You ready to risk your life to fight or do damage to somebody who's done nothing to you off of clout. Because clout is a hell of a drug. Niggas will show more loyalty to gain views than to go help their so-called homie. Niggas will do more to gain views to, than to go actually help and change and establish friendship with their so-called friends. I see the game already. I see niggas who call out their so-called friend Casanova and they do nothing to really defend that man. Everybody named mama called Casanova a snitch. I'm like the only guy on YouTube that's never put that jacket on that man like that. Because at the end of the day, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm just a nigga on YouTube. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm just a nigga on YouTube. I see a lot of you niggas trying to take that quote from me, but it is what it is. Use it well, my kids. Big facts. I look at myself as a progenitor because I follow my own wave. So I don't have to end up like the Casanovas of the world. An overgrown man trying to look cool and trying to get cool points and falling into peer pressures to still look good in front of other grown individuals. Nah, I can't do it. Y'all can have that life, King. Look, I'm your God bless one, man. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Love your family, love your kids, and always, gentlemen, stay blessed, gang.